going on everybody? Welcome back to another Marvel Monday, the segment where we make your Monday just a little bit better by checking out a Marvel movie. And although today's Friday, I recorded this reaction on a Monday, so I think it still counts. And other than that, dude, today's been a weird morning. You ever wake up and immediately feel like you can't tell if you're about to shit or throw up? Combination of mixing beef jerky and coffee in the morning. Not a good combo. <laughs> it's really, uh, not good. So guys, today we're gonna be checking out Shang-Chi and the, what is this? Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. We got a lot of stuff cooking up. We gotta react to the five Spider-Man movies before we check out No Way Home. We're starting Daredevil pretty soon. It's like, there's a lot of cool shit on the channel. And if you guys wanna check out that content earlier than it releases on YouTube, check out the Patreon link top of the description. And a quick shout out to everybody who's subscribed to the channel, who's been following this journey with us. And welcome to everybody who's new. Just stoked to have you guys here. All right, y'all ready? Let's commence this beautiful theatrical performance. Let's go. Okay. Normally not about subtitles, but we'll let it slide. Hell yeah, brother. Tell me how the horse is wearing a helmet, but not him. Maybe he doesn't need a helmet. I'm sorry, just eternal life? I don't think that that's something I'd want. At some point, I'm gonna be checked out. Oh, my God. Yo! Damn, zip zap, electric rope? Holy shit. Da okay, yeah, definitely doesn't need a helmet. Never mind. Oh, God. Damn. What was that headless beast? Martial arts from the gods. Why the hell would gods need to use mixed martial arts? Or gods? What the hell? Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit, that happened so fast. I, I don't think that would actually work out like that. What about the, the fucking trees Ritz? Whoa, holy shit. That's crazy. Whoa. Dude, this is not a, this is not a normal fight scene. Holy shit, this is so artistic. Yo, that gave me goosebumps. I don't even know what it was. She like slid the cock rings to him. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Look at this. They're dancing, they're not fighting. Who fights like that? <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever seen, dude. I've ever seen. Best, best fight. I don't even know what to call it. Dance fighting. Oh, dude, this is I'm nervous already, man. Marvel does, does this. Whenever they make you really attached to a character early on, they're gonna kill her off. They're gonna kill her. I know it. To who? What the hell? <laughs> oh, I've heard that song. What is this song? Makes me wanna like. <laughs> Damn! Oh shit, that's not Shang. Who the hell are you? You're the villain. Why do the villains always just have sharper features? Thinner, sharper... I could be a good villain. I got thin ass, sharp features. Oh my god. Get out. I'm the Asian Jeff Gordon. Oh. I don't know who that is. Jeff Gordon's the only dude in NASCAR I'll ever know. Besides Ricky Bobby. Woo! 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 Ow! I'm, I'll go slow. Oh god. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Hell no. Worst valet ever, dude. You know, before she was a lawyer, your girl was pretty wild. Oh, shit. What happened? <laughs> I grew up. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean, bitch? You've always been the most talented people I know. I just don't get why you're scared to actually use it for something serious. <laughs> Presumptive. You sound like my mom. You also dress like her a little bit, too. <laughs> Where's this from? Talbots? <laughs> We're not running from adulthood. How is it running to have jobs that you actually like? Yeah. I agree more with them. If you're truly happy as a valet driver, then fuck doing the corporate lawyer bullshit. I'm a lawyer and now I'm watching movies on YouTube for you guys. It's fantastic. I don't wanna... <laughs> they're, they, it looks like they're living it up more, dude. Call me crazy, but I'd rather hang out with them than Sue. Sue, you stuck up woman. Sue's a Karen. Sue is a Karen that can hang out with younger people than Karen can. But it's not a great hangout. She's still a Karen at heart. Y'all eating Funyuns for breakfast? Dude, hell yeah. I just ate beef jerky and coffee. But one day I'll make you proud, I promise. I'm proud of you, sis. Parking cars is super hard. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Maybe one day you'll pass your driver's test. Live the dream like me. You dumb piece of shit, you can't even drive. <laughs> <laughs> she wants some grandbabies. She's writing a research paper on a bus. So? That is exactly the daughter my mom wishes came out of her vagina. What? What? Hey, what? Whoa. Get off of me! Oh my god. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro! <laughs> oh, okay. She's got ludicrous, bro. Oh, bitch. <laughs> What up, y'all? It's your boy Cliff coming at you live on the bus. Yo, dude, dude, that's cool. 100%. Look at that bitch's eyes. <laughs> oh, what the hell? You got this, bro. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, shit. We're flying, dude. We are flying. Bus driver is down. I'm not gonna handle this. Every time I've tried to drive a bus, I get yelled at. <laughs> wow. What do they want with that damn pendant so bad? Obviously, it gives them fucking power. Hell yeah! Go, you freak! <laughs> and, I mean, she knows about NASCAR, so she's the, she's the right one to do it, I guess. Dude, I'm sorry, man. Already, there have been some amazing fight sequences in Marvel movies, but this already takes the cake. These are fucking nuts. Look at that! What? He's spider monkey it all over the bus. Sounds really weird. Sorry. You and your sister deserve what's coming. Sister? <gasps> Go right! Oh! Oh! Not that car! My buddy has one of those cars. Oh my god, that hurt! Could have been worse. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's as good as you could hope for, right? Oh, they got the pendant. My dude is first on the scene with the scooter. <laughs> yeah. Those guys are going after my sister next. I have to get to her first. Oh. You have a sister? A guy with a freaking machete for an arm just chopped our butts in half, Sean. Who the hell are you? She sounds like a different version of uh, ScarJo. Those guys back there were sent by my dad. So your dad, the Ten Ring Man, wants the pendant. If his mom beat his dad, his dad would now want the powers of the mom if the powers of the mom are harnessed through the pendant? Is that what's happening? After my mom died, my dad started my training. Oh. It's a sick ass mask. Oh God. Oh God. From sun up to sun down, I was taught every possible way to kill a man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. That is a terrible, I mean, that's super badass, but to get there, some disgusting things had to be done. It reminds me of like Michael Jackson. I think his dad was super abusive and every time he missed a note as a kid, he'd get like thrown against a wall or smacked around or something. That's how old I was when he sent me on my first assignment. 14? I was willing to do anything he wanted. If he asked me to burn the world down, I would have asked him. Be for vegetarian. What? Roll out of the chicken. So I can only offer you beef or vegetarian. Beef. 
Actually, you're on a plane. It's plain beef. You gotta go vegetarian. 100%. I'm sorry about your mom. I should also probably mention that my name's not technically Sean. <laughs> oh, God. She didn't even know your name, dude. It's Shang-Chi. You change your name from Shang to Sean? <laughs> I wonder how your father found okay. you. <laughs> Hi, I'm not Alex Hefner. I know I look familiar, but my name is Alec Hefner. Shut up, Sean. Dude, this movie's really cool already. It didn't take long for me to like it a lot. Damn. Okay, let's get you ready to fight. Wait, what? What? I'm looking for my sister, Su Shaolin. Never heard of her. We is his sister gonna be one of those fighters? You're gonna be fighting up there. Oh my god. Whoa, you got- you got the dude from fucking Doctor Strange! Damn, knocked himself out. <laughs> I always bet on Asian. Okay, okay. I'll take your shirt off. <laughs> and your pants too. Bend over and cough. What? No! What happened to your shirt? And his opponent for tonight! His sister. His sister! Okay, so if that dude only bets on Asians, what happened when there's two Asians fighting? There's a t shirt that gets. Oh my god, dude, she just scorpion kicked him. Oh, dude, he just got bejeweled. Damn seismic twister, bro. Didn't you give him the address? Oh god, that's so sad. I don't know what he's telling you, but mom- Mom's dead. Yeah. Okay. We know that. Douche. Comfort her. That is so sad. So since a kid, he always left her high and dry. She didn't have anybody. His dad was busy teaching him. His mo Her mom was gone. That's really cool. Did you bet against me? No. <laughs> okay. You know what he said to me when he left? I'll be back in three days. And after three days, I went to our mom's shrine and waited. Oh my god, that is sad. Three days turning to six years. Damn. Okay, well, now you gave her abandonment issues. Well done. I didn't need you then. And I don't need you now. Then why would you send me the postcard? What postcard? I didn't send you this. Did your mom? It's their- it's their mom, dude. She's not dead. Hey! Hey! Hey, open up! Oh my gosh. Katie, we're out of options. We have to go now. Listen, go, chick! You wanna fight Cleaver Arm or what? Oh. They're gonna end up together, aren't they? They have to. We already know. Dude, he's such a badass. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> that is so smooth. Oh. Wait, who was that? Oh. Wow, that was clutch. This is cool. After seeing a lot of Marvel movies, you start to kind of think in the back of your brain, like, is Marvel going to be able to kind of increase the fight scenes and like make these movies better over time? Not better. That's a weird choice of words, but these these are incredible. Well done. Oh my god, dude! Wait, is that his mom? Where have you been? Let's go home. Who's the white mask? Wow. Looks like a damn prison. I've seen some really scary stuff this week, but your dad's on like a whole nother level. Just because you can't read him. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. Just nod. Don't talk. He'll forget you're there. Okay. He said he couldn't look at me <gasps> because I reminded him of her. Dude, that is messed up. If my dad won't let me into his empire, I'll build my I'm own. I'm gonna build my own. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go! She's more of a badass than Shang-Chi. She taught that to herself. If you want them to be yours one day, you have to show me you are strong enough to carry them. Does that principle work? You punching trees and shit and like you're strengthening your shins and your knuckles, is that actually a thing? Or are you just harming yourself? I guess both can be true at once. Now it's time for you to take your place by my side. It's not gonna happen. When I met their mother, everything changed. She gave up everything so we could be together. And so did I. Wow. Oh gosh. <laughs> that got me. That's a good background. <laughs> I finally found something worth growing old for. And when she died, I was lost for many years. What if she's not dead? What if I'm just going down a rabbit trail that's completely fucking wrong, but... What if I'm not? What if she's not dead? There's a gate deep in the mountains. Your mother is waiting for us there. Was I right? She told me she needs my help to save her from her people. Your mother wanted us to live in Talo. She asked permission from the elders and they refused. They locked her behind that gate to punish her. Oh, shit. So she's still alive. She wants us to find her and bring her home so we can be a family again. Dang. She's not talking to you from behind a gate and she's not leaving any clues for us. Then what are these? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Whoa. To get through, you need to know the route and the exact time it opens. Ah, uh, he's a guy that says route. Are you a route or route type of person? Let me know down below in the comments. I specifically say route unless I'm talking about that big ass drink from Sonic and then I say route 44. This is why you're here, to help me bring her back to us. And what happens if they don't let you open the gate? We'll burn the village to the ground. Okay. Okay. Watch this just go like a, a beautiful mind and make the dude a paranoid schizophrenic. That's what's actually going on. If we don't find a way to get to Talo before him, he's gonna destroy everything that's left of our family. Hey, Duncan, with that knocking. Oh, hello, loves. What year is it? <laughs> what? Who are you? Trevor, the actor from Liverpool. Trevor? I've been preparing a monologue for your homecoming dinner. The dude's batshit. Just keep on going. Trevor, you're sick, man. I couldn't agree more. I can give you a quick preview if you like. Nuncle, nuncle, nuncle. Uh, thank you, Trevor. I think we're okay. <laughs> Let the man do his craft at least. Look at the sad little life he's living. What the, what the fuck is that? You can see Morris. <laughs> Wait. Where's his face? <laughs> He's a bit sensitive. About He's kind of cute, but of also demonic and terrifying. Morris is a grew up with your mom headless in Talo. Fucking literally a headless, feathered up, mythical turkey. He wants you to take him home. Oh, what do you feed Morris? Souls? Aw, oh, I actually kind of like Morris. Morris says he can guide you there right now. But even if that chicken pig is right. Chicken pig. I like mythical headless wombat. He just busted through stone. How did you? Dad has a tunnel system under the whole compound. That's how I escaped last time. Do you mind? Uh, I get Morris. <laughs> That's my car. <laughs> you shouldn't be driving a car. You have one hand. Access approved. <gasps> Shit. Prepare the man for war. Okay, so now we're racing against the dad. So you became an actor because you thought the monkeys were actually- Riding horses? I did? <laughs> Good for you, dude. You found your passion and went for it and eventually used it to cripple the US government, but whatever. And end up in a different country's fucking underground wombat hole. Go, you can go, he says go. Morris! He's just so cute. You should speed up. What? Why? Because Morris said so, just do it! It's all about staying in the pocket. What pocket? We're in it now. What happens if we don't stay in the pocket? The forest eats us. Eats us? What does that mean? It's not good. How close is it? Five meters! Stay in the pocket! What is that in feet? Really freaking close! Stay in the pocket! Will you just stop saying stay in the pocket? <laughs> Uh, stay in the pocket! Stay in the pocket! I'm coming oh, home, mommy! Shit. I'm coming home, mommy! <laughs> Morris says, great job, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for the moral support, Fuzzy Chicken. Bloody hell. I think those birds are on fire. <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> Yo, it's like nine tails, bro! A 
bunch of Morrises! Oh. oh. This guy talks, I feel like. Does he say something? That's a weird horse. <laughs> Little horse lizards. Damn. Okay, this is probably CGI, but if not, where the hell did this movie take place? Where did they shoot this? Oh my god, dude. Mammoth lions. Hi, Cub. Beep, 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 beep. When the family walks in, when you're making a reaction. <laughs> Is that his mom? Oh, oh wait, is, is her mom dead or alive? I don't know. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Morris. <laughs> we don't have much time. Our father's coming. Our people have been here for over 4,000 years. We are the keepers of the dark gate, sworn to protect this realm and yours from the evil that's locked behind it. Dark gate? He thinks you're holding our mom there. He says he can hear her asking for help. Is he wearing the rings? What do they have to do with all this? They tricking his brain or something? All of our people lived in peace and prosperity until the attack of the Dweller in Darkness. Dude, this universe is terrifying. Look we at those little creatures. Fucking squid bats. But our ancestors were no match for them until the Great Protector joined their fight and turned the tide. That is terrifying. Our people have guarded that gate ever since. My face would be like, Katie's or what is, what is her name? I'd be like, don't open that. Hell no. Many have tried and failed over the centuries. Have many had the 10 damn rings? They were lured here by the voice of something on the other side. A voice that promised them their greatest desires. Oh. They know the 10 rings have the power to break them free. Oh. She knew that one day you would find your way here and asked me to prepare something for your arrival. <gasps> oh, dude. Damn dragon scale armor? That is sick! Let's go. Let's see what you got when you got some actual trainers helping you. Mama, you saw that? That was tight! <laughs> that was tight. Dude, if Katie ends up being a badass too, that's gonna be really cool. My mother was the only one who could beat him. Show me how she did it. Uh, open your hands? Your mother knew who she was. Do you? No. <laughs> Do any of us? Sometimes I really love myself, sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, Who the fuck is this guy? Technicality. It's about semantics, you know, that annoying type of shit coming up. But they're called the Ten Rings. They're not really rings, they're, they're, they're like bracelets. I guess Ten Rings sounds better though. Sir, the men are ready. I'll prepare the vehicles. Here, let me give you a hand. MPT jokes, really? Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling like this guy right here, having a mustache is not in his true character. It doesn't look right. It's a weird mustache. How many dudes you need? Oh my gosh, dude. This looks like the start of some online videos. Not some tasteful ones. Mama. Oh my god, okay. Well, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Insensitive ass dude. Just making a joke, didn't even know that, that was the time his mom's gonna die. Guess I didn't put that together. You didn't listen. Holy shit. Okay, I guess he did listen in the past. Now he didn't listen. Right in front of his kid. You just murdered someone in front of your kid. Shit, I... Be sure shit. Okay. This little boy is learning dark lessons very early on. Jesus. You can't lightning bolt ground pound someone in the face. Just killing them and being like, you okay? You good? <laughs> you okay? Just spit all of my computer screen. <laughs> we found the man responsible for killing your mother. It is your right to finish this for both of us. Why? Why his right? I'm not who you think I am. Well, yeah, she didn't even know your name, dude. She thought it was Sean. <laughs> when my dad sent me to find the man who killed my mom, I told you I couldn't go through with it. You did? You went through with it? I lied. She would hate the person I've become. Fuck, this got dark super fast. You're going to kill your dad by his own rules? I'm going to do what he trained me to do. I'm going to kill him. <clears throat> Good old Marvel.
stories about children killing their parents. I mean, I don't care what you say. I think that there's this is true. Tell me what you guys think about this, but even if you despise your parent in some form or fashion, there's a little bit somewhere, a small portion of you that loves them still. I don't know if that's true or not. Just kind of makes me want to say that. He's here. <laughs> She stays here, let her fight, let her do something. This is like Avatar mixed with Marvel. You got horse pigs lying around, you got headless golden chickens. This is gonna be a good fight. Burn it down. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a cool weapon, what is that called? Is that like a legit thing? <gasps> no. <laughs> Casually walking in. Are you planning to stop me all by yourself? Yeah, because I fight with open hands now, bitch, rather than closed ones. You've spent your entire life afraid. Bones hiding. Not anymore. You were there when they came for her. You stood at a window and watched her die. Okay, quick editor's note. Uh, dude, your kid was fucking seven years old. You were out lollygagging, stroking your willows, getting groceries. You came back with a bag. Where the hell were you? <sighs> It just pissed me off, and it wasn't captured in the reaction. So there you go. Back to the reaction. Come on, Shang Chi, scissor blast him. Okay. I want to see how they filmed this particular movie, like without CGI, with green screens and everything. She's gone, and we needed to. But you chose those damn rings over us. They're bracelets. You trained your son to be a killer. Is this what you wanted? Even if you could bring her back, what makes you think she'd want anything to do with you? I mean, that's a good point. That's actually a really good point. <laughs> Let go of your son's rod. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Even the little details in, in this movie, like whenever the water splashes, you got a little hint of the rainbow right there. That's really cool. It's not her. It's in your head. Is that gonna do it? Oh no. Oh no, dude. The sky. Oh no. The squid bats are coming out, man. Those things are gonna kill us all if we don't work together. You think I'm going to fall for that? <laughs> Okay, y'all need to fight together. It's not gonna... Yeah, that's what you need. We should work together. <laughs> yeah. Release them! Yeah. Stealing souls to feed the dweller in darkness. Stealing souls? Jesus. I have to help my friends. Yeah, Grandma, when the wizard bats come out, everyone's helping fight. Where's your brother? I was hoping you knew. Oh my gosh, yeah, at the bottom of the damn ocean. Or sea, or river. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Act like an archer? <laughs> Wait, he hears his mom now too? Oh, the rings! Look at the rings! Oh god. Oh, the power of the dragon, dude! Yo, okay. That's sick. Power of the dragon. Oh, he's riding it. I thought he was the dragon. He got the power of the Ten Rings and the dragon all in one. This is awesome. This is so cool. Out of my way, boy. No. Fight! Yeah, the half circle, let's go. Now we got these dance fights, bro. It's like, as they're fighting like that and it's going all slow motion and very like melodic and planned out, it's all, it tells a story. They're telling a story through the fight. Good job, Marvel. Aww. <gasps> the mom? The dragon? Goosebumps? It makes sense <laughs> from a body perspective. <gasps> Morris! Calm down, mate. I'm not dead, it's just a performance. <laughs> now get down here, play along. Yes. I thought the dude was dead. Ah, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn. There go five of your rings. Are they gonna go on Shang-Chi? <laughs> Coolest fight scene of all time. Coolest fight scenes of all time. All 10? Dude, you're fucked. You're 100% fucked. Fuck your stupid little rings. I have to save her. She's not alive, bro. She's calling to me. She's in your head. Your family needs you. It seems like he's never cared about his family this entire damn movie. Well, I mean, okay, that's not true. He really did it first. We'll give him that. Oh my God, it's gonna be a giant monster, isn't it? The demon dragon squid. Okay, is that the mom? Oh my god, he's sucking the dad's soul. Sounded weird. Wow. Are you gonna save your dad or is he dead? I mean, his soul's leaving his body, he's dead. Oh, our dragon Oh my god, it's his sister! Come on, Shang, hop on the dragon! Alright, let's ride. Like I'm part of a biker gang in the morning. Let's ride, boys! Shut the hell up. Dude, that's so cool, I wanna scratch him! I wonder if dragons like being scratched, but probably not because they got scales. Give him a nice rub. Look at all the souls they're stealing! Oh no, he's getting stronger! Shit! Oh my gosh, that did not last long. Come on, Katie, shoot him in the throat. Oh my god, no. Not the dragon soul. I'm not leaving you again. Yo, what a shot! <laughs> yes. Katie's a rock star, dude. She's such a badass. Dude, this whole scene is insane. Oh my gosh, I totally want to watch how they create this. Oh. Holy shit. Dragon juice flooded the sky, man. I love watching different shows and movies interpretations of dragons and like how they create them because they're all so nuanced, but they're they're really cool to check out. Hey, you're a hero. A couple lessons and you're a sharp shot like Hawkeye. There's a lot of different ceremonies you do when people pass away, but this is probably one of the coolest, most beautiful ones. Really like that. Wow. I don't know if that means anything, but the dragon did a circle at first, kind of like they do the sweeping motion with their foot. I seriously thought we were gonna die. And I had only learned how to shoot a bow like a day earlier. Oh, this is- Now I'm on a battlefield. This is the aftermath? Y'all sound like you just did a bunch of mushrooms. And then Sean used the ten rings to like do this like crazy Kamehameha <laughs> fireball that exploded. Yeah, tell us we didn't do anything with our life now. Are you done mocking me? Oh no, we're not, we're not mocking you. Two weeks ago, you were parking cars for tips, and you want me to believe you're now saving the world from soul-sucking monsters. All right, so we just can't win with you, bitch. What do you want? You're one of those people that no matter what happens, you're gonna find some negative shit to say? I got you. What? Shang-Chi. <gasps> What's up, dude? Let's go. We have a lot to talk about. You too. Let's go. Yeah, believe us now, bitch. See ya. Enjoy your drinks and edamame. We're gonna go do some important shit. That's sick. They got cool lives. I wanna be friends with them. Fuck John and his his girlfriend. Yeah, you was cruising with your top down for the July. I was moving down the block. We got caught at the light. Wow, that was good, dude. That was really good. And the soundtrack slabs. This might be dude, this is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, for sure. In phase four. That was so cool! Yes! Alright, we gotta see if there's an end credit. Now we got Shang-Chi and Doctor Strange Worlds mixed and integrated even more. <gasps> They're not vibranium. Bruce? Chitauri? K 
Captain Marvel. Like any alien tech I've seen. We're sending a message. What is it? A message to where? Guys, welcome to the circus. From now on, the trajectory of your lives will be like nothing you've ever experienced before. Great. I want to know, how are they going to get paid? If y'all got so much work and shit to do, how are you going to have money to pay for rent, food? That's what I want to know. Or... <laughs> Karaoke with Wong? What? Uh, that's sick. Alright, we're going to jump to the other end credit scenes. Whoa. It's really well done. They're waiting. Wait, who's waiting? And why is Razor Arm telling you that? I don't know what's happening. Oh shit, now she's running things. In with the new gen. I'm so meticulous, I'm dropping up my new plans. That's sick. Again, I end it with goosebumps, man. Start it and end it with goosebumps and have goosebumps multiple times in, during the movie. Whoa. That's crazy. Okay, Shang-Chi cast. Because this is important. Who, was, who am I trying to say? Tony Leung? I don't know if that's how you say his name, but he was a fantastic actor, dude. It's like, that movie makes me feel like it was a, it, like it should have been in phase one. Not from a timeline perspective, but just from like a quality perspective. And I know, I love all the phases, they're very good. But it just, it felt like more of an origin story, more of a phase one, just like really cool encapsulating incredible fight scenes. CGI out of the fucking world, just so good and really entertaining to watch, man. I've never seen fight sequences like that before to the point it looked like it was damn dancing with the stars. Like it was really cool to see. I cannot wait to see how the Shang-Chi story ties into the Marvel Universe even more. This was a really fun one. And all in all, I was just super surprised. I didn't know what to expect coming into it, but this exceeded my expectations on every single level. It's just, it's, it feels so good. And I'm really happy right now because we've checked out a lot of Marvel TV shows, which have been fun in and of themselves. But it, it's just like, this is one of the Marvel movies I've checked out recently that jumps to the top of my list and one of like the top five spots almost. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for checking out this movie with me and sticking around to the end of the video. And guys, if you are still here at this point in the video and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And with all that being said, I will see you guys on Monday for Eternals. Love y'all, have a kick-ass rest of your day and an amazing weekend. Yes, I like to clap. Love y'all, peace.